It's Mark Skidon, the National Country Music Report in Tennessee, and I'm here with the man who just keeps picking up his glassware. <laughs> year after year, Luke Combs, how's it going, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm wonderful. I cannot complain. So talk to me about having the good common sense to know that Fast Car is one of the America's and the world's most beloved anthemic songs. Yeah, you know, I I mean, I always knew, you know, that it was undeniably incredible song, right? I mean, shouts out to Tracy for writing right. one of the best songs ever. Um, but it's just a song that meant so much to me, like it has millions and millions of other Americans, you know, uh, people around the world, you know. I mean, I was four years old in my dad's truck listening to that record, and that was six years after that record came out. So it goes to show you that, you know, that record is, is it was timeless then, it's timeless now. Right. That song is timeless, and I really recorded this just because I love it so much. It's one of the first songs that I, that I just worked and worked and worked to try to learn how to play guitar when I could barely play one right. because I loved it so much. And so it's just a really full circle moment of, of my journey and um, I'm honored, humbled to have won, you know, CMA on, on Tracy's shoulders, you know what I mean? Have you had a phone call, email, I haven't, conversation have not, with her yet? No, I have not and uh, I look forward to that happening one day. Uh, yeah. Maybe it never will, but I'm eternally grateful uh, to her for that song and uh, allow me to be a real, real small part of that story. So talk to me about the power of when you are working with a song like that, yeah. that has a legacy, and you're a part of that, and right. then you're extending that into work you have that's coming out of this moment in your career. Sure, you know, and, and it was never, it was never like, it was never thought, there was never any pressure when we were in the studio because it was, it was just kind of this spur of the moment, like, I was like, I always love this song, and I just, let's do it. You know, it was never this big master plan. Right. It was just something that was done out of, out of love for music, man, and, like, a, a moment that felt special to me, and, like, truly, I, I love what I do, and, and music makes me happy, and I want to do things that, that bring me joy, and that bring me, you know, satisfaction, and, uh, you know, so being in that studio, man, and recording that song was unbelievable. And, uh, I never could have imagined that that would happen. Absolutely. So, final question in relation to all this. The value for your fans, younger fans especially, to believe in songs that they know are good. Sure. Instead yes. of trying to write the song or right. do something that's outside of their right. brain, yeah. believe in songs that they know are good. Talk yeah. to me about the value of that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's huge, right? I mean, any song that has an impact on someone, you know, I, I think about what that song meant to me and to be able to even impart some small part of that onto another generation that may have never been exposed to that, right. to her music or to that song. Or, that's cool, man. It's a cool experience. It's full circle. I think music is so important. I believe in great songs. I believe in the power that songs can have and what they can mean to people and help them heal or move forward or look back. It's so powerful and it's so important. Absolutely. Congratulations, man. Congrats it's a pleasure you. as always. Yes, Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you. Oh, my God. Appreciate it. Always. Yes, sir. Have a good night, bud. Right Appreciate on, it. Sir. Thank you, guys. Yeah. See y'all, brother.